Hello Virgo, this is Deja Vu Tarot and I am back with another collective read for now until the remaining month of November. Once again, this is a collection of energies guys, so feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, take what resonates, alright? Always come back, always drop a Virgo. And once again, if I am a district leader for Primerica, so I am currently in the state of Nevada. I am looking for recruits, so if you guys are interested, please send me an email. Let me know. Um, all we ask, if you pass a background check, 18 years or older, or you have some type of electronic device. Primerica, if you look at PRI on the New York Stock Exchange, we are the top stock, <laughs> stock exchange. Um, in the stock market so PRI is our stock exchange ID so if y'all want to look that up go ahead um, definitely a legit company we are a one stop shop for all your financial needs okay we're kind of like an Amazon so instead of going to this one this one this one we will go ahead and get you set up for your future needs okay so send me an email if y'all interested and we have over 100,000 reps in the United States so it's not just Nevada. I am currently looking for recruits, but please feel free to send me an email if y'all want quotes, okay? I have no problem giving y'all some, some prices and package deals, okay? All right, Virgo. So, I pulled from my Moonology card deck, and I have a fiery, fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. So, Virgo. You guys could be with a Scorpio. You guys is going to have a fly re climax approach. I can't talk all of a sudden. That happens when I channel. So, sorry guys. But I'm kind of sounding really like... It's just spirit talking through me early and trying to get it out. <laughs> Alright, so this says don't even think about giving up. Okay. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, uh, full moon. Okay, I'm looking at the new moon. Okay, here we go. This one is say, be nice, be kind, Virgo. Smile and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Be assertive. Assertive is good. Just don't ride rough shoulder over anyone. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way into peace. Don't be a baby. Okay, you need to have more fun. So, Spirit say meditate, guys. It is time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, 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 me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But, you have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. As you wait, oh, if you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast, or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you created this situation yourself. Yes, Virgo, accept the consequences. First thing I always say, 333 three, three, as I said that. Accept your consequences. You can't, when you pointing fingers at someone else, guess how many point back? You got four of them point back. So it's always self-evaluation. Okay? Yourself first. Evaluate what you did on all the levels. So you can create a way out of it. When this card come up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Alright? On the upside, there's excitement about what may lie ahead. But tempers are likely to fare. So rash comments or decisions. So Spirit is saying, you about to fight with somebody. Okay? You finna end something. Something is finna go off. You're in an Aries energy, right? But Spirit is saying, be patient, meditate, okay? Because we don't want you going to jail now. Okay, what's playing right now? Write your name. So write stuff down, meditate, guys. Realize you're going to be in a fiery climax. Just don't do nothing rash and don't say nothing that's going to make you end up somewhere where you don't want to be, okay? You're trying to get to your soulmate, 444, as I said that. You're trying to get to your partner, then you need to think smarter. The karmic, or whoever, job, friends, family, bitter bitches, bitter bum, 
It's going to start with you, Virgo. Y'all can have it in your chart. Check your birth chart. Don't give them... I said this to my kids this morning. Don't give people energy because that's what they want. They're energy vampires. So if they can make you mad, that's energy. If they can make you happy, that's energy, right? And no matter what type of energy you're giving off, they like it. So don't give it to them. Don't give them that satisfaction. Spirit said, be rational. Think clearly. Because you're going to end something soon. And you know your karma is about to act a fool. She want to act a fool. Why? Because she want to send you to jail. Don't give her that satisfaction. Alright? Or person. I say she, guys. Put you, it could be he. Put your story hanged up. Y'all know how I read now. Those of you been following me, y'all should know how I read by now. If not, if this your first time, I read energy. You have to take your characters where they lay. I say she, he, but that don't necessarily mean, you know, you could be dealing with a, a female that's a masculine energy. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Take your situation high. Up. But when I get a male energy, that's what I'm reading. All right. But that don't necessarily mean you're dealing with a male. But male is energy. So you could be dealing with a female who is in male energy. Right? Alright, next one is conclusions are within reach. Yeah, so spirit is saying, That which is meant for me will not pass me by. Doors which slam shut now will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Forgive yourself first and then forgive others. That's how you get karma to set free. You got to meditate. Do yoga. Nidra are all recommended. See the control. So basically, relax, guys. You got to learn how to meditate. Like I say, meditation don't necessarily have to be hours, 30, 45 minutes. You could do 10 minutes every day. It's just a consistency, just a practice. Because once you start doing it every day, you can meditate with your eyes open. Meditation don't necessarily mean you got to close everybody out. But that's the best way to meditate because you want to connect with the most high, right? But if you're in these fiery situations at that time, spirit is saying, close your eyes, go walk it off, cool off, right? Stay grounded. Don't do rash things that's going to land you in jail. Don't do it. That's what the karmics want y'all to do, all right? You got to think smart. Because you in a new romantic cycle is about to begin for you. New moon in Libra. You could be a Libra with Virgo placement. The end of a rough cycle is near. You're almost done with your karma. So don't go get mad and go to jail and get more karma on yourself, Virgo. You got to think smarter than that. It's a time for healing now. Even if your karmic partner is getting you mad, let that person go. You're very close to achieving your goals right now. And they know that. So don't don't give them that benefit. Thank you, Spirit. Meditate and contemplate. Don't give them the benefit to have you locked up when you know you're trying to go to your person. Meditate. Contemplate. Go with the flow, Spirit. Say, none is, is not set in stone. Surrender to the divine. Gotta surrender to the most high. God is in control. We cannot control no one but ourselves. Step out your comfort zone without fear. Follow your north node. Don't let pride get in your way. Let your pride down. Right now, with spirit, you can't be prideful. I'm going to let you know right now. Any spiritual journey, you might as well throw that pride off to the side. It's okay to have a little pride, but you can't lead with your pride. You got to be with your heart and your soul and balance of emotions. That's spirit. Spirit is peaceful. Spirit is never angry, confused, getting you hostile. If you in that environment, that's the devil. Spirit is peace. Hold your vision. Meditate. Stay calm. Let them karmics be blowing up and all that at you. Don't let them get you round up. Look at the bigger picture, spirit saying. You want to go to your, your, your loved one, right? You got to adjust. It's peace. Okay? Not, not harmony. You got to expect a powerful change is coming. 
It's a time to give love. 10-10. Ending. It's a time to give love rather than take love. But it's also a time to take some action. Alright? And your personal issue reaches a resolution. So stay, stay good. Stay calm. Stay peaceful. Full moon and cancer. Stay within your emotions. Okay? Don't let these karmitas or these bosses or these people get you round up, Virgo. You better than that. That's what they want. They want you acting a fool so they can call the police on you so they can send you to jail. Okay? It's all a ploy. So remember that. The devil wants you to get mad. You know you got something in the distance horizon. Don't let these people get you off your path. Spirit saints, meditate. Calm down. They in despair. The karma is in despair because you love someone. And you love yourself. Some of them, you got self-love. They don't like that. Yeah, I can't make it up. You love someone else. And now they're going to try to 11-11. This is a twin flame I'm talking to here. And now they're going to try to get you riled up. So don't let them do that to you. Yeah. Because ain't no love there. Right? Ain't no love with this false person, Spirit. They're saying she fake. And she knows she fake. She knows you finna be wealthy. She already figured that out when you met her. It was all a ploy. She read up on you. She knew what you was gonna be. So she wanted to take the divine feminine place. And be the false person. But what she didn't realize is that you ain't gonna never love her. So I don't know how. As many times as she act false and act like a divine feminine, she knows she ain't never going to have your heart. She knows you anchored in love with the divine. Okay? All right, Holy Spirit. So give us, what's the collector for Virgo? Give me four cards, please. Ooh, these cards are flying at night. Ace of Cups in reverse. Like I said, ain't no love, man. Ooh, somebody in despair. Yeah, true love. I told you. I just said this whole spread right now. But we gonna look deeper. Despair. Yeah, somebody in despair because they don't love. Ain't no love in that relationship. I feel like for some of you, you probably left your masculine too. And they kind of heartbroken about the situation. But it's a storm coming, Spirit saying. So get ready. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. It's an ending. It's over. Karmic cycles are closed. Maybe you were the gift. They realized you were the gift and you you ended it. And so now they're in despair. Yeah. I can't make it up. You were the key. Ace of Cups, the key. You were the key to the, to the jackpot. You were the one that bonded. Now they realize it. Now they in despair. They want to change. They broke. They See, they went to another relationship where they didn't love this person. They went with money. See, they thought lust and devil and all this anger. See, they mad now. 11-11. Yeah. It's a twin. They thought this was going to make them abundant. You can't get no abundance with no, with no devil. No toxic person. Ain't no abundance coming to that. Trust me. I tried. Kept losing everything. But the good Lord had me. I had to lose everything to gain everything. Ain't that something? You got to lose something to gain in this world. Spirit say, it's going to take some time. Oh, this person don't want to wait. They don't want to wait to send you no message. Maybe they going to send it to you. Because they so much in despair. It's a vibe, Spirit say. Ain't like the vibe. Okay. Because, Spirit, you're jumping all over me. Whew. Okay. The energy is just high. Give me a minute. Let me just sage. I'm just trying to clear some of these energies because they high. See, when you're high vibing, you get a lot of positive messages. And the first thing people say, uh... They ain't reading the cards right because they said the lover coming back. Well, how is that wrong? Just because you ain't got no, you in the low energy vibe and your cards coming out negative. Don't try to hate on my cards. 
Because I saved my stuff. Somebody going to be in poverty, though. I think these, these karmics, or your masculine might now. They may be going through it. You're saying survive. Okay, now let's start over. Okay, so now they realize you the key. The key to the, the fortune is you. Okay, so now they like, wow, I threw away Ace of Cups in Reverse. I threw away the key to my happiness, which was my twin flame soulmate. Ooh, they don't want this other relationship no more. For some of you, this is a karmic two. Three plus two is five. They want to change out of this relationship. Ain't no love here. Some of them already left, and the karmic is disturbed because it's ended. And they're going to gift you with something. They're going to send you a message here. So let's see. What's the Ace of Cups in the last Give me two. They feel trapped. This person don't love them. Yeah, they want to go to their wish. They want to build with you. But it came out sideways. So maybe they just kind of thinking like, man, I want to go back to you. You are the the, the, the luck here. But I might be trapped. They feel trapped. Some of them could be going to jail. What's this imprisonment? Yeah. yeah. So they want to mend things with you, Virgo. They feel stuck in this. I feel like they scared. They don't know what to think. They caught up in their mind. They trying to make a decision. They know they don't love this person. They know it. They know what they got to do. But they're scared. Some of them scared. Yeah, they know they got to come back and start over. They want to start with you. But you abundant. See, you, 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 you with spirit. You on your little rainbow. You could have a platform. You looking beautiful. And they intimidated by that. Okay. They know they got to send you a message. Some of y'all are messengers. You could work for the post office. Could be a social media message. Y'all could have platforms. Okay. But you the luck. You the key. And they know this. What's the two of cups? They feel stupid. They, they, they threw their luck away. Ain't that something? They broke, they ain't got no money, they ain't hiring. Look at this, karmic down here. Yeah, they don't want this karmic. Karmic looking for revenge. What's the two of cups in reverse? Mature woman. See, the karmic played it like she was a mature woman. Yeah, it was communicated. That this person was looking for revenge. Maybe your masculine's looking for revenge off this karmic. Yeah, because you got two messages here. So they saw something about on, on social media about this mature woman or maybe the mature mu woman communicated that she didn't want this person no more. What's this message? What was the message? Yeah, that he loved you. It's destiny, exactly. So the mature woman is you. You could have communicated to your masculine that. This is destiny, hon. What are you doing? You threw away your destiny. Being a karmic. Being a karmic masculine, you done threw your destiny away. And they realize that now. Now they in despair. And you see, they went over to the karmic and they thought the karmic was the one. Karmic played them. Yeah, they thought she was the one. But she ain't. It's you. So now they ain't got no job. They ain't got no money. And they, they on the street. Yeah, I told you, they whacked it away. They weed whacker, they cut it away. Spirit say, what you doing? You throwing away your blessing, boy. You the, the key right here. You just needed to take the key to unlock your coins. Okay? Well, he didn't. He didn't take it. So now they, they broke. Yeah, they working hard. Probably ain't even got no money. Ain't even got no job. They over there. Realizing that they messed up. Yeah. So what they doing is they working hard with this karmic. The karmic could be working hard too. Putting spells on this person. Making this person not have no job. No money. No nothing. No nothing. No nothing. This looks like entities in the back. She could be sending dark magic his way. This person may not even know. Okay. 
This comic is working hard, day and night, casting spells, making his life miserable. For revenge. Yeah, they say they're looking for revenge. That's what just came on with Drake. In the summer, this person was mad in the summer looking for revenge. And they did that spell work to make this person lose their job, everything. Yeah, they want this person to have a hard time making a decision to come back to you. And they mess around and end it the wish. Destiny. Now it's karma. They paying for it in the summertime. Over a child. Well, they thought this person was the happiest. They wasn't woke. Al in reverse. They didn't have no knowledge. They went off of sex. Some of you, the karmas could have lied and said they was pregnant, child. And they just went off of what she said. But she was trying to get revenge on this person. It wasn't nothing else. The key was sitting right here. This person whacked it away. I can't make none of this up. What's the message? What's the message? The message is, this person is secretly burdened. They want to send you a message, okay? They want to tell you about some secrets here. Mask off. Yeah, they want to take their mask off. Yeah, future mask off. They want to reveal. They want a new beginning with you, but they got secrets. What's this moon? They got to reveal these secrets. What's the moon thing? Journey. I feel like this is what you don't see. Like, you don't see that their emotions are really deep for you. And they will eventually go on a journey. But right now, Spirit says it's going to take some time. They're trying to get some type of money or abundance. Because like I say, they didn't threw away the keys. And see, it fell to the side. Okay, they still could be a little bit confused. This person probably still doing magic for some of them. They're trying to release the burdens. So the message is going to probably be is like, you know, give me some time or they may tell you, they may even have what's really going on. But the message is, yeah, they secretly married. They secretly married. So they either going to be hiding that they still going to work on a marriage or they're hiding that they want to work on a marriage with you. Okay. Others of you, this person is secretly trying to be sneaky now. Be careful. They know you the main female. Some of them still going to try to lie because, like I say, they burdened. They got a marriage. They chose the wrong person. I told you they in despair. Right. They ain't got no money. So it's like they want to send you a message, Virgo, but they secretly still burdening this marriage for some of them. Some of them, they was married and they had a karmic female, okay? And they, they, they was playing around and they ended up getting a divorce and ended up losing everything. They cut the wrong person. They made the wrong situation. They weren't thinking, right? So now it's like they want to send you a message, but they almost like they trying to hide the fact that they were married. So, let's see. They got to take their mask off, Spirit is saying. They can't come to you unless they take that mask off. And what's the mask? Is that they in despair? They ain't got their relationships suck. Some of them could be going to jail. They need to take that mask off, Spirit said they being fake. What's the gift? They know you the gift. Yeah. Can't make it up. Great fortune. Exactly. What we say. Divine feminine is the great fortune. You're the key to this person's heart. This person threw it away for a karmic that's broke, and she was fake. He got this person broke in despair and disgusted, and this person, the karmic, probably ended it. And went with her masking. Some of them did. Some of them, they just put curses on him ever since the summertime, so he ain't never get his shit together. And I feel like he's realizing that he don't love this person. And he realized that he threw his dang on defined feminine away. For rats. Exactly. 
<laughs> it's eating them up inside because they know it's destiny. They know they broke because they threw away their money. Okay, they know they got to end this 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 fake fake ass marriage. They study wearing that mask. So spirit said they ain't they gonna be in poverty and in bad health until they get off their ass and take that damn mask off and confess to you. 2525, as I said that, look up that number. Some of them gonna be in bad health and poverty and, and pass possibly pass away here. Some of them, these are masculines. These are homosexual men that's in this situation here. I'm going to say that because it's all three men came out. A mature man, a wealthy man, and a main man. But all of these three men is about to be in poverty and bad health. Because they could have been involved in your masculine not going to, missing out on his, his divine feminine. It could have been a coven, a group. They all, it's backfiring. They could have did magic. Spirit said they about to die too. That's what I see now. That's what I see. I see three men. Poverty, bad health. So these men right here, these three, is going through poverty and bad health. You got the coffin card. Now you tell me what that means. It's a karmic masculine that's going to pass away. This person going to be in poverty. This main man over here, whoever this wealthy person is, they going to be sick. This main man finna die and he's in poverty. This mature person here is going to pass away too. That's for some of you guys. Because they could have been involved in trying to break up the twins or we'll get this person in poverty. Or this person was involved in trying to do something to the divine feminine. That's what some of yeah, breaking up a, a twin flame soulmate destined partnership. That's that. That's whatever you put out is gonna come back. Yeah. Endings. Yeah. So for some of you, it's a, it was a group of men that did this. A group of masculines, or it could have just been the same sex partnership and maybe that's the friends who was involved in this but they all finna be in poverty and they all finna be sick and dead others of you this person is in despair because now they realize you are you are the great fortune you're the one you're the key to his success and he threw it away you're the gift you were the destiny he should have went to you but he went to this fake ass marriage. Now he in bad health, sick and everything. He might die and have problems. They was once rich, they gonna be broke now. Spirit says it's gonna be eat, always eating away at them. Okay? It could have been an older male involved. And this song say dying to live. Woo! Say so dying to live. So guess what? Because they hid a fortune. They hid this marriage. They was hiding. They was doing something secret. Some of them was trying to take your fortune for divine feminine. Some of them betrayed you, divine feminine. Tried to keep you stuck and anchored in your emotions here. Meanwhile, they was mending stuff with a false person here. Having a whole family with a false person. Probably telling you they're going to come back and mend something with you. But they didn't. They got plenty messages that you were an official person. But they ignored them. It went to this false community. Could have been a, a harem, a satanic cult. Now they realize the child ain't theirs. And they realize that this is a fake relationship person service the whole community all right so that's for some of you that's for some of you the maze fell on the floor you know maybe it's like some of the masculines had a group of people working together to stop this union the devil helpers they thought that 
the karmic was the one they thought they thought wrong that's crazy look my initials is down here on this paper mc cm i don't know if y'all can see that wow it's like spirit was dropping clues for this person this person was ignoring this you see it's right here your initials divine feminine and he up here looking at the karmic he ain't see nothing. So, will this person come back? They be in divine timing. Some of them will. Some of them betrayed you. And they not. Some of them betrayed you with a group of masculines and some coven. They're dying and they're and they going to get sick. And they're going to be in poverty for betraying a gift from God. God is in control. They thought they were in control. Yeah, came back out. I can't make it up. What is this, spirit? Man, making this person confused, putting all type of people in a way. He put everybody before the divine feminine. What's this, spirit? What you trying to say with this? Am I saying it right? Show me what I need. Yeah, pathway. So your person still, yeah, they confused this person journey but they're gonna go for some of you they will it's gonna take a lot but they're gonna go yeah it's gonna take a lot they're working hard they're gonna be going through a lot of karma right now but they will go eventually but god gotta give them that spiritual ass whooping yeah they working on it though look at this snake see she mad see she expecting some some money in this and that she working hard to stop this person right now. Keeping them confused. Spirit say it's going to be new beginnings either way. And her new beginning going to be in jail. That's the message for you, Karmic. While you're spying. And watching. And stalking. Fez is watching you. Your new beginning is going to be locked up. So while you're expecting a new beginning. No. Ain't no new beginning for you. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get you some advice. I always like to end with some advice. It says, with you. Yeah, they're going to they gonna be with you. What's the advice, Spirit? Let's get some advice from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Look what flipped over. Boom. That's the advice. This situation going to involve marriage. They're going to express it. They love. It came out in reverse, so I feel like some of you, this person's still married, and they're not expressing themselves to you at this time until they get rid of this, until they separate, exactly. Others of you, this person gonna express their love. Let's see, what's the advice? 333, 3313, as I said that, look up that angel number. 3313. Yeah, spirits say you do deserve love, okay? Continue to keep healing, and your person is healing family issues right now. Forgive your parents too, Virgo. Spirit say your love life benefits. Maybe they trying to forgive their parents. You know, their parents, they, they whole family is karma. Okay? So they got to work on they, they healing their family issues. Because they do want to marry you. They know it's going to be a honeymoon. They want to play in front of you. But y'all got to heal right now. And they healing their family issues. Past life relationship. It came out in reverse. Oh, yeah. Because they got to free themselves from this karmic. So once they free themselves and heal their family issues, spirits say, they need to let them fr their friends help them. And they need to stop talking to friends that's single and ain't got nobody. Get professional help. Call me. When it comes to Twin Flame Journey. Because once again, they're going to express their love and marry you. Virgo, you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Continue to love yourself. And this person needs to love themselves. Once they love themselves, they're going to realize they got romantic feelings for you. And y'all will get engaged, okay? Because the attraction is there, Spirit say. And the passion is there. So it's going to be new love. But right now, finances and career is affecting your true love because this is the one Virgo 
keep an open mind, Spirit saying. Y'all gonna retreat. This your soul, mate. But he in this unrequited love right now. You gotta get out of that. He getting that spiritual ass whooping. Stay optimistic, though. They're gonna release their ass. Okay? Alright, Virgo. I hope these messages help. Once again, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future offers. And once again, what goes around, always come back around again, guys. Deja vu tarot. Peace.